All right, so let's ride my bike, dropping off the Amazon return stuff. ISO is 12,800, F4 is 150th of a second. Uh, so, riding my bike to do the Amazon returns. I was wanting to, I brought my camera too, so I can get, so I get some shots of this. I was trying to get some photos of uh, that there. I am thinking it'll probably up. Uh, I think I'm like, I'm far enough uh, like off the road with my bike there, like on the edge of a field. Because I was I was heading to Coles, and I probably should have stopped and took pictures before. It was like the sun was setting. There was aren't. I was just wanted to get the Amazon return uh, done. But I figure I'd like because I instead of taking the normal route about normal route back, I took like a longer like back road so I can get like a a field here with uh, the buildings and stuff. Not uh, in the way. Is that a button? No. Buildings and stuff. Uh, not in the way get all get all that but that leads me to the thought of I may probably like have this 11 to 22 for anything that's wide vlogging really good if I want to do it in like wide landscapes as well but I think I got egg burritos coming back up but I think what I really need to do is also, when I carry this, start carrying the, uh, or buy uh, the 55 to 200, and start carrying that with me anytime I carry this. Just get like a little small case or something for the lens and throw it in my, well essentially that's my cooler backpack because I'm going to, go to Kroger and get groceries but uh any other if I get like a if I get like a dedicated camera backpack also I'm thinking a tripod too if I had a tripod now well 55 to 200 so I could like if you've seen a couple of my videos you've seen like the type of photos I take because if I could like zoom in and basically kind of like even like a vertical like where it's like kind of that if you can imagine it and uh, so essentially it's all the mirrorless stuff so it's lighter stuff had the 1122 for the wide vlogging the uh, 55 to 200 for like the telephoto photo since it's more my deal is to zoom in and have compressed backgrounds then also maybe throw like that I've done previous videos of the 22 F2 Prime. I actually returned it, but I may purchase it again because I actually like the lens. But I bought it, did those reviews, and like something came up, I'd like return it for the cash, but I may purchase it in the future because I think 11-22, the 22 F2 Prime, and a 55 to 200, and that covers most everything. If you want to carry that. 15 to 45 uh, kit lens with you too if you want to carry that if you want to cover that middle ground that would work uh, as well also I need uh, I was kind of thinking when I was talking about taking the photos of this I had talked about before getting like a faster lens but I think I need to get Actually, I think it'd be better if I start trying, experimenting with like taking landscape shots of like f/8, so like more uh, of the more planes are in focus. Because I'm trying to figure out how to get the 
because I've seen like some landscape photos was like very crispy. I was trying to figure out if it's full frame or maybe they just have more in focus. So I'm thinking of getting a uh, travel tripod. I may check out the. There is a. It's like a. Hold on. Is it struggling in the dark here? Okay. I may get the. Uh, I think it's the Gikoto travel tripod. Like it. Uh, uh, it uh, collapses down to 19 inches and I believe it goes all the way up to 77. So I may try that because I'm thinking that may be what will help me is the tripod set the camera up on the tripod so I can get those uh, photos that have like the higher f-stops like f8 where I may not be able to especially if it being blue hour like this I won't be able to hand hold them and get any kind of like usable image so set it up on the tripod and do that. And that may help instead of me trying to get a faster lens for like blue hour landscape photos. This is F4 on the wide. So it's having a little bit of trouble tracking my eye. So I'm thinking Canon M62, 11 to 22, 22 prime, uh, 55 to 200 and that travel tripod. I looked at the peak design because the aluminum one is 350 and it like packs down really small but I think the top size for it is only 52 and like I'm six foot one so I want something that's kind of like eye level so I think the Geekoto even though it would be bigger and heavier it also cost I think it's 80 bucks while that peak design is like 350 for the aluminum so I may uh, get that and that'd be like a kit and actually if I want to like bike around and stuff too that'd be I think that'd be a light kit for that as well but yeah I just want to stop grab some photos see what I can get uh, with this lens my uh, variable ND for this lens should be here technically it should be uh, coming in tonight then also I'm debating too, when I get that 55 to 200 and have the 200 telephoto, I'm wondering if that's going to be enough for me. Because where I had that, I got that Tamron 18 to 400 to try out. But I've been debating if I really need the 200 to 400 range. Like 135 on my kit lens, 18 to 135, like 135 to 200 is a big jump. But how big of a jump is the, I'm getting bit up. How big of a jump is 200 to 400? But then again, I kind of want to play around with that lens because I have like a two times extender. So it'd make it like a 36 to uh, 800, which would be interesting, especially for like moonshots and stuff. So I'll have to play around for the next couple weeks and figure all that out. But when I get home tonight, I may actually, I may purchase that 55 to 200 get like a step down ring because it's a 52 millimeter thread and this is 55 and I got the 55 coming tonight so I get, a, get the 55 to 200 get a step down ring from 55 down to 52 and uh, what's going on here hey I guess I don't know Maybe they stop saving anything. But uh, yeah, purchase all that. So uh, if I throw this up, like if you really like, uh, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll see how the photos turn out as well. All right, I'm gonna get off this road here. All right, cool, later.